two men passing, and Hime and Kadeem get across from each other. CJ, go with Daniel. All right, listen, we're going to use our heavy balls. We're going to use the heavy balls. All right, just chest passes to start. Make sure receivers are down in a stance, stay in a stance, step into it, one, two, shot fake. Step at your partner, throw it hard, and then go back where you started from every time. All right, you have no time to relax on this. Then we'll move back a step. Hold up. When you, fin when you, when you finish passing the ball, there should be a little snap of your wrist, and your thumb should end up just like this. The, the, you're stepping into it with a little snap, okay? Snap your wrist, thumbs down. Here we go. These guys, for whatever reason, they're not the greatest passers in the world. Maybe it's because they've always played right around the basket, but they're going to have to throw outlet passes. They're going to have to just become better passers. So it's something that we thought we needed to do with this group. Just a little fun. Step into it as the ball's coming, Kadeem. Meet your pass. Meet your pass. Slow down. Slow down. Now this heavy ball is a little harder to snap than a regular ball. I don't know how much it weighs, but it, it's pretty heavy. Daniel, our manager, is doing a great job. Good job. Hold, hold your follow through, on, just like on a shot. There you go. All right, hold up. Outside the three. Outside the three. Outside the three. All right, now all overhead. All right, throw long outlet passes. Throw them on a rope. All right, receivers still meet them, but make sure you go back to where you started from so we're throwing it all the way across the court. All right, here we go. Ready? Step, step, big step. Good. As big and strong as you are, it should not be a problem getting it there. You got to have a bigger step. Throw it as you're stepping. Cannot have turnovers on outlet passes. These guys should be able to get it up, you know, at least to on a, on a free throw line or top of the key extended. We ask our guards to get butt to the sideline, and we want to advance the ball on the pass as much as we can, depending on where the defense is. One step outside the lane line, Kadeem. Back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. Uh, all right hand now. All right, you guys got to work with one another. All right hand. Push passes. Ready? Go. CJ. Step, step, CJ, step. Step. If you're passing with your right hand, your right foot should step towards your receiver. Working on a one hand pass. Ball. Actually, the ball's in your hands for quite a long time, but at the end, you're pushing it with the one hand or the other. Now we're going to push with the left. Anything we can do to make our post players better basketball players. These guys, uh, I've always believed that if you can make them better basketball players, ultimately it's gonna help them, but it's also gonna help your team. We're not just trying to give them things that five men do. We're trying to, we, we have a lot of drills when we start team practice where our five men dribble the ball all over the court. And we have a, a series to get warm where they're literally dribbling, dribbling the ball from three-quarter court for a layup and a pull-up. They make a move, attack the elbow, and then they make two moves where they attack the elbow and then get a little pull-up shot. So they're dribbling the ball. They dribble and pass it in that drill. They're continually working on becoming better basketball players, not just centers.